In software industry, we have uh, something called requirements. What are requirements? Requirements are nothing but what a uh, software is supposed to do from the user's perspective. A user comes to a company and asks um, for a specific software to be written. And he defines how this software has to be functioning. So he will define a set of requirements. And these requirements are takes a long it's a long process to define these requirements from the user's perspective because he has to communicate the whole his vision of this software to the company or the client which develops it. So he writes the requirements in textual format in a document or any other tool. So this is what requirements or software requirements are. Then to gather these requirements, um, the the, the company or the, the client basically goes to different users of his software and gets their experience and also adds his own experience to write these requirements and to manage these requirements you need specific tools which I'll be explaining soon. There are many tools for managing the software requirements Previously, we uh, the software industry was using a tool called Doors, which is from IBM, which basically documents all the requirements in a list. The main advantage of this tool is that it links the requirements to a set of test cases. So there is good traceability with this tool. Uh, it's uh, It's been used for a long time, but uh, today's uh, software industry, they are using different kinds of tools. Even MS Word, Microsoft Word is used uh, as a software um, requirements document. And there's another tool called PTC Integrity. Uh, this is a tool which is stores also software requirements. Um, and it's also for use for application lifecycle management and product lifecycle management. And Jira is another tool which is used for uh, software requirements. Jira, the advantage is uh, you can go online. It's a, it's a web web based tool, so it's very easy and uh, to use and has a good user friendly um, uh, uh, GUI. And it's uh, it has a very good search inside Jira, so it's used also for bug reporting. So you it, it stores everything what the user types in, and um, it's a it's a it, it's a very good uh, for search uh, searching very specific requirements and stuff. So these are the four major tools used for software requirements and software management. Uh, there are also many other tools, but in this uh, to in this video, I'll just I'll be explaining a bit more on. Uh, these four tools. Doors is widely used requirements management tool. It comes with a Windows client and also has a web client. Uh, in Doors you can uh, link the requirements to test cases which is a big plus point for Doors uh, for it to be having the traceability. Scalable if the requirements grows and can navigate through different projects. So you, if the requirements grow, the, the database is so big that it can handle a large um, requirements base. And the requirements are stored at a central location and it's easy to track. And requirements are traceable which enhances productivity. And it also enables multiple users to work on the same document which is a big advantage of those and those is widely used in the aerospace and automotive industry for uh, as a main requirements management tool and it is uh, from ibm Microsoft Word is also used for uh, requirements management and it's more cheaper compared to Doors as it's widely used tool the knowledge is widespread and it's very easy to use and since it's from Microsoft it integrates with other tools from Microsoft like Microsoft PowerPoint uh, Microsoft project and other tools it can add images designs links and a lot of things can be done with Microsoft Word but the problems or the downside is like um, versioning is a problem and traceability is also difficult and tracking changes within the document is not also not easy but one good point is Microsoft Word documents can be exported in different formats and is easy to share um, uh, that's another advantage and it can also be published on the web um, uh, with HTML or other web formats um, yeah PTC integrity is also a requirements management tool um, unified requirements management tool with traceability, change and configuration management. Requirements can be linked to design, development code and testing framework. Uh, requirements are traceable 
and uh, another advantage of uh, PTC integrity is it has a lot of interfaces to other tools uh, like uh, doors where you can um, basically import your requirements into PTC integrity uh, this, this is a very good thing to do uh, since uh, doors is not much widely used and uh, many companies are moving to new other tools possibility to export requirements to different formats and it's a complete ALM and PMM solution another advantage of P PTC integrity is it offers uh, different workflows uh, which can be configured for different uh, needs of a company and uh, this workflow is very usable and it's also easy to track the changes in a specific document uh, within this workflow um, yeah. Jira although it's not uh, specifically designed for requirements management there's a plugin called rmsys plugin which can be used uh, or configured to be used as a requirements management tool uh, traceability between requirements test cases and issues is possible with uh, Jira and changes in requirements can be easily controlled with versioning and baselines test cases creation and execution and also groups of test cases can be created and executed Jira has a very good search uh, option where you can search for different uh, for different requirements and you can get it um, online very quickly and it's a web based tool so it's more easy to use uh, and uh, it has uh, since it has all the other tools like bug tracking and uh, other forms of uh, other different conference tools it can be well integrated into requirements management so i have tried to give you a brief outline of different tools used for requirements management i hope it helps you uh, I will keep posting more uh, tech type of videos, more about software tools and how they are used. This is my first video. So keep uh, keep a look on my videos, keep uh, subscribe to my channel. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and um, thank you for listening.